You already know his BC and the Clans don't make sense. You know what, Chadwick? I didn't even know he had cancer. He, it's like he died so suddenly. It was a shocking to me. But it seemed like he was a sacrifice. Just like the real Black Panthers were sacrificed. I mean, they went hard for us. When it came down to us being mistreated in the workforce, mistreated by cops, you know, in the courtrooms, being, you know, unjustly distreated, all these things contributed to the real Black Panthers. And it's funny how the people that create all these comic books want to call it Black Panther and they try to tie the roots to a place that they try to make it seem like we're not the indigenous people of this American land that Michael B. Jordan was. But that's a whole nother topic. But I'm talking about the emasculation of black men and why they continuously put a woman in front. The black woman, to call her a woman king. You don't see no other series of uh, any other culture, ethnicity, calling a woman king. They drive you out of the household when you focus on, uh, you know, the Section 8 and all these things to make sure that a woman can push a man out and she can rely on the government. They do the same thing in the workforce. They try to hire women more to put them at a higher standing to make sure that they have, you know, more money than the average black man. So therefore she's more masculine in a masculine frame. Black women are being put in a masculine frame, acting like they are the head. They can fight the superheroes knowing damn well, no black woman wants to be in front of no war. They don't want to be in front of no gun. They don't want to be the one, you know, to sacrifice themselves in battle. But they continuously do this. So now they're confusing the little girl growing up in the black neighborhood thinking, oh, I can be stronger than a man. I can lead a man. That's against the Bible. I suffer a woman not to teach nor usurp authority over a man. But this is what Hollywood do. They do anything to go against the most high. Women should have done themselves quietly and submissively. But no, nah, these women are bold. They're coming out here fighting the woman king, same thing. This is the woman king part two. This is just another movie showing you the emasculation of a black man, making sure he ain't even on the front. And they got the other guy sounding like a monkey in the movie. Ooh, ha, ooh, ooh. All day, ooh, da, ooh. All day long, because the black man is dumb, he can't articulate himself. The woman has to be the one that has the intelligence, the intellect, to go ahead and, you know, orchestrate things, organize things, be an analyst. They do this in Hollywood to us. Because the real black men that fight for us, just some of y'all don't even know their names. But this is what happens over and over again. They push this agenda. But you know what? It's a, it's a sad day, but I really hope that people wake up and stop allowing themselves to support things like this. The white men call it Black Panther as a contradiction to the real Black Panther because they wanted to make fun of it. Huh.